it's just time for a little TLC. What is something that will make you feel warm and cozy inside or bring you some source of joy and excitement? Welcome back to another video. We are starting what I'm calling a little self-care reset. I made myself a little iced coffee and I have a few minutes before I'm gonna head off to my first appointment of my little self-care adventure. I'm hoping it'll be nicer by the end of this vlog that you guys can actually like feel the spring vibes come through, but right now it's just not looking so great. I'm going to a hair appointment this morning. Silly me decided to book a 9 a.m. hair appointment on Saturday and it is currently 8.26. So we're gonna leave very soon, but I've been wanting to get my hair done for a long time. It is just very brassy right now. We're not gonna do anything too crazy. Usually I like to tone my hair in between times that I actually dye it. If you know, you know, a little touch up. I actually have a couple errands to run, so I'll take you guys along for that. I'm getting my nails done as well because it's been a while since I've had my nails actually properly done. It's just time for a little TLC and what better time than now? March is also my birthday month, so that's all the more reason to just give myself a little self-care. I'm gonna finish this coffee real quick and then we're gonna head off to my appointment. Also, I haven't washed my hair in a good few days just because I feel like it's better to have a little bit of oil like natural oil on your scalp So it's not as damaging, but low-key it looks disgusting right now to the well and I'm gonna try to find a little book because I have a gift card and self-care also means books. home now and this is what my hair looks like. I realize it probably doesn't look that much different because I totally forgot to do a before shot and my hair was in a ponytail before I left. I did mention I basically just did a touch up so because my hair is actually bleached it's been looking lighter than I like it to look so this is like my ideal color which actually looks like such a small thing but in real life and just my personal preference I feel like it looks way better and I just feel more put together. You got a much better look at it there. I also realized I didn't really go through what my actual plans are for this little reset mini glow up that I'm doing, but one is my hair, which is complete. I also mentioned getting my nails done. That I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. I booked myself a massage appointment, which I'm really excited for. I haven't done that since last year. And I've decided to give myself a little self tan, which I haven't done in a long time. I don't do it very regularly, but something about the start of a new season, especially in the warmer months, makes me wanna be ready you know, and it's like when you go on vacation, you wanna have the tan before you get there. So that's what we're gonna do as well. And you guys saw on my way back, I had to stop in at the bookstore because what better way to spend an afternoon? I actually didn't spend an afternoon there, but I spent a good chunk of time. I went to Indigo. It's kind of like the equivalent of Barnes & Noble because it's our biggest book chain store. I actually had a gift card and my boyfriend had got this for me because he's well aware of my whole reading era right now. I have been primarily a Kindle reader since I got back into it. That said, there's still something about being in the bookstore. I grew up loving Indigo slash chapters, which is what it was called when I was growing up. Since I've rekindled my love for it, like going in just hits totally different. I got one book and then one other thing, which is this. This is a little mug. 
with my initial on it and I've actually wanted a little mug like this for quite a while but usually they kind of look boring. I don't know if anyone else sees this but I personally feel like the letter C is the least aesthetic looking letter but it has little flowers on it so I thought it was super cute and I also was looking back and forth for a book. Long story short I still prefer my Kindle but I want to set myself up better to try to enjoy physical books because the last time I tried to read physical books was from the library books I got and those actually went back today and I wasn't invested in the stories and it just like did not work. Today I found this book from Miss Taylor Jenkins Reid. She is the author of a couple really popular books. One of them is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo which I actually just read. I didn't tell you guys about that but I would say that's like my top three books that I've ever read so far. I wanted something from an author that I knew I already enjoyed so there's no chance of me not reading it and one that I don't already have on my Kindle so this is what we ended up with. Based off of what I've read, I think it's a literary romance. Highly recommend The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo if you haven't read that yet and then I'll let you guys know if I end up liking this one. So I only just got those two things from Indigo but I also got a package that I want to share with you guys and I've been waiting to open it up. It is from Cezanne. They have been so kind to gift me items in the past that I've shown with you guys and their new collection for the spring just came out. I haven't started my spring shopping yet but their new collection looks super cute. Let me open this up. This is so pretty for the spring. This one is a button-up which has little daisies all over it. And I thought the detailing was so pretty, but I'm so excited to try to wear this in different ways. I feel like this could be dressed up or dressed down. I'm actually going to try it on right now. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love the little flower detailing. I don't think I would wear it with a black t-shirt underneath, but probably like a neutral color tank top or something but I think this is so perfect it has a little bit of like pattern but nothing too noticeable because I'm very much a plain Jane type of girl most of the time I am obsessed so this is definitely part of their new collection the next thing that I got is actually this jacket based off of the Toronto weather I feel like this is the perfect layering piece for the spring this army green color and it's meant to be more of an oversized fit so let me try this on as well i feel like this color of a jacket is such a staple and it's definitely more of a jacket so it's not super heavy definitely gotta check the pockets on jackets and this one is perfect i really love the length on it and i just feel like it's so versatile especially like i said for this time of year so thank you so much to Cezanne for sending me these pieces. Make sure to check out their spring collection. I will put links to the items that I have in the description. Next up, it's time to do a little bit of self-tanning. All right, it is later and it's time for some self-tanner. This is the first time I've actually done self-tanner in a hot minute, but I did prepare in advance because I knew this was gonna happen. And it's important to note, I feel like most tutorials or like any routines will tell you, but you gotta exfoliate and especially when my skin has been so dry through the winter this is just a dove exfoliator nothing special i use this body cream this is the glow recipe one and i thought it would smell nicer than it actually does i can't say i think it's worth it but basically just exfoliate and moisturize and try to give your skin enough time to like actually become moisturized before you start applying any self tanner i actually have done this in another video before so if you have seen that then the steps literally haven't changed at all the one that i use is meant to be applied overnight basically and then you're supposed to rinse it off in the morning this one is from amazon so i will link it in the description if you are looking for it i think i bought this separate Separately, or you can buy it together, but this is just a mitt. So sometimes if I'm crunched for time, I will just exfoliate and moisturize and then start the self tanning process. But in this case, I had showered and exfoliated this morning because usually when I dye my hair, I don't wash it for a few days. So we're all ready to go. So let's just basically get started. This is gonna just give you the general idea of how this works, but obviously the less restricted you are in your application, the better. But for the purpose of this video, yeah, I basically just 
take this and start applying a couple of things that i just totally forgot about is don't put any in these little crevices because that's kind of where the self tanner will stick basically avoid any joints so like your elbow and stuff as well typically i try to avoid applying directly onto it i'm going to continue applying this because this is something that i keep on overnight you basically just wake up feeling tanner than you were before just make sure that either your sheets are dark or you're wearing darker clothes so i'll probably just put something on before i go to bed but that's basically it. Honestly, the key is just making sure that your skin is prepared before you start applying it, just so you avoid any of the weird clumps and stuff like that. But I am definitely not an expert. This is literally just what works for me. I actually just realized I forgot to mention, this is the one that I use for my face and it's the Isle of Paradise in medium. I mix this in with my moisturizer. So a couple drops of this is pretty good. This one is for my body and this one is what I use for my face. And that's basically it. We are testing out the mug today and by testing out I just mean using it So I went and got my nails done as you guys saw and I usually do my own nails at home actually But honestly in the last little while I've not really had the motivation to do my nails If you've done your nails before you might know that it takes so much prep if you skip any steps or if you rush certain things your nails typically don't last very long and i found myself doing that quite a bit that's just my long-winded way of saying sometimes you treat yourself and other times you do it yourself instead i got dip i feel like this has been such a staple type of color i don't have the exact name of it to be honest because there was basically none of the color she wanted to use so she mixed it herself I made a tea by the way, in case I wasn't clear. We have a couple more things. So because my birthday is coming up, I use that as an excuse to order from Sephora. And I haven't actually shopped in quite a while on Sephora. I really don't wear makeup much these days and I'm very pro high maintenance to be low maintenance. So if I need to take a little more time to do my lashes and I do have my brows shaded, if I can do those little things to make myself feel like that much more comfortable or confident, then I'd rather focus on that than having to do a whole makeup routine every day. That said, I do still enjoy makeup, but I just haven't found myself buying new products I think the most <laughs> products that I use are when I'm going somewhere and I'm actually getting ready with you guys. But on the day to day, I've just been really liking the no makeup vibe because ain't nobody got time for that, to be honest. So what did I get from Sephora? First, let's start with this birthday gift. So this is one of the options that I could have picked from, but I decided to go with this one because it's actually travel sized hair products, which I always feel like I need more of. And it does say all the products on the back and it says happy birthday. This is the shampoo. Oh my God, it smells so good. I don't think I've used Moroccan oil products before. This is the conditioner. I might've used it like samples of it before, but I typically don't get this. There's some hand cream as well. Last but not least, what is this? Oh, it's a hair treatment. It's their signature hair treatment oil. This is such a cute little bottle. Between the options, I just figured I actually will use this, especially if I'm going traveling and just to have something already in a travel size will be super handy. Yay, free stuff. So I already opened this because I was very excited. My skin has been so dry, especially since the winter. It just felt like it needed a little hydration. I found this from the brand Youth to the People. I've actually never used their products before. It is called the Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I just wanted something that would give my skin a bit more moisture and life and preferably something for nighttime. So this is what it looks like. You can definitely hear Bean snoring in the background, by the way. So far, I've used this a couple times and it's felt really nice. It was about time that I tried to diversify my skincare products. I also got a Laneige lip mask. This one is their lip sleeping mask, but I currently have one and I'll show you guys in a second what that's looking like, but this is a brand new one that I'm very excited for. This is in Sweet Candy and the color is just so cute. 
yeah it's giving candy it's giving pink this is such a good product i really struggle with dry lips and it's something i'm a little bit insecure about because if i don't put any products on it your girl looks very much chapped and flaky so i actually have a little bit of this on my lips now and not this one this is my current one you guys have seen this many many times but look how used up and beat up she is. This is called Gummy. I like this, I think, a little bit more than the other one. It was getting a little bit hard to use. It comes with like a little, I don't know what to call this, like spatula. So I might use this to put the rest of this on, but she has been very much used and loved. And I just love when I find products that I genuinely enjoy using. And that's the type of shopping that I'm into now. Speaking on that, I wanted to take a second because I feel like this whole video has been very much like the typical self-care, pamper yourself vibe type things and I'm so for that because I don't always get the time or the chance to do things like this. So honestly, this has been very much something that I've been looking forward to doing. That said, I feel like the whole point of self-care in general should be about doing things that mean something to you. That could be things that you might have put off for a while and when you think about like what is something that will make you feel warm and cozy inside or bring you some source of joy and excitement that you typically don't get the chance to do like those are just as important for self-care i have talked about this in other videos and even other like self-care type of videos before about just how important it is to do things like chores and getting tidying done or decluttering things that are so helpful for our mental health and also is a form of self-love that just means like taking the time and prioritizing that for yourself so things that i haven't shown in this video but i think are just as much self-care activities could be things like meditating getting some exercise getting some cleaning and tidying done like i said so i'd love to hear from you guys what are some of your favorite self-care rituals or activities when's the last time you did something like that for yourself because if it has been a while this is your sign to go and do something even a small thing but that said i have one one last appointment and I'm very very excited for this. I'm finally getting a massage. It has been months. Honestly, the tension is tensioning. But yes, I am super excited to be ending this off with a nice and relaxing massage.